All right, hey, YouTube, this is your president, the Presidential Terrace. I'm back at the famous Edward Scissorhand lo film location here in Lakeland. There's a couple of different locations here that was filmed for the movie. <clears throat> but I wanted to come back and show where the, um, the salon was. I've heard there's been some major changes that they covered up the windows with construction walls. I heard that a while ago. I peeked over there, and it's true. So let's go over there and take a look and see the changes, which is unfortunate because the windows, the door, the door handle, I think that was all original. From when the movie was there you used to be able to peek in there and see the back room where that encounter happened and everything not anymore so let's get over there sorry for a little bit of my unsteadiness it's on filming with my phone i was not planning on uh filming here today so that's why it's gonna be a little jiggly but this is awesome a lot of this still looks the same well, let's uh, head on over there and if you look closely, you actually see things that you see in the movie still. Certain um, wall supports and some certain signs, which I may eventually do a side-to-side -side comparison to show you what's currently left. It goes right down there. I think Edward, what, uh, Johnny Depp was like standing right there, I believe, in one scene. And you see him walking like right down there. I don't fully remember exactly the path he took. It's been forever since I've been here. There it is, right where this wall was. It used to be always these glass windows and a glass door. It, the last thing that was here was a liquor store. Actually, well, this isn't a construction wall. This is a permanent wall. Look. Yeah, this is a permanent wall now. So it's totally gone. I wonder if it's part of that business right there. But this is about where it was. Uh, I'd say the door was about right here. Was where the door was for the movie. And it looks like, guys, it is no more. So I have no idea if that back room is still there or what. But, so where it was, you check out the movie. Which is a shame. I always was hoping to get in there. But that place has been closed forever. When it was a liquor store, the owner used to let you go in there. Look, because I've seen a video where he let someone in there. But unfortunately, that's not possible anymore. But I mean, who knows? Maybe they just covered it up in that actual still room and that back room still there. I have no idea. Looks like it's a, a yoga place. Which at the moment does not seem to be open either. Yoga Point, it's called. So I bet you this is part of the yoga point, unless it's a different business. I have no idea, but I wanted to show it. So yeah, that's where it was. Okay. Show a couple different angles. I right, hear it is a little bit farther away. I think all these support columns, it's all original and everything when they filmed the movie. I think this, this shrubbery has definitely changed. It's actually changed since when I last filmed here, too. So remember, I was able to walk out there a little bit more. It's been forever since I watched that movie. I got to watch it again to um, re-familiarize myself with the scenes here. Of course, across there, they used to have a diner where they filmed some of it in, too. There's a building there now. I'm not sure if it's the same building that's been extensively modified or they totally knocked it down and they built another one on it. It uh, was a medical place and then I think it turned into a different medical place since then. I just, I'm not too sure. Anyways, that's where the salon was. And looks like it's more than likely no more. Bit of history lost. It's a bit of a shame though.
Thank you.